are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Palmdale, California, USA. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this might be fun. underway seems to be a striking advantage on one side but on the other truly a fighter who can do it all and that guy will usually have the advantage on paper when you're a striker at this guy's level that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman my goodness Dude is good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee 
gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh! Head kick! Oh! Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Gets caught with that punch. Don't Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fist. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Oh, what a punch. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both guys landing with conviction now. Big knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> There's no give on that leg kick. Straight punch land. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Wow, huge head kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Coach is there again. Oh, straight right. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ten seconds to go in the round. Leg kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah. 
lands flush with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh man, head kick land. All right, single collar tie now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, went for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit. No good. Head kick. Oh! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Look at that. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion.